In reading through Psalm 13, I noticed something that I don't think I've noticed before, or at least it jumped out at me in a way that it hasn't previously jumped out, um, in a way that it hasn't previously jumped out. And it's, it's towards the end where the psalm writer, who through much of the psalm is questioning God, how long, God, do you love me? Are you paying attention? All those different things. It, it comes, he resolves it well at the end by, by saying, I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. And the word your jumped out at me like, that's not the way I normally think about it. I normally think of like my salvation. My heart rejoices in my salvation. The fact that I get to be saved, you know, <laughs> or like you, Lord, are my rock and my salvation. You know, that's there are places in the Bible where the, the biblical writers, often in the Book of Psalms, they talk about my salvation. I'm I'm the one who's saved. But it just I noticed for the maybe for the first time. I don't know. Probably not. But maybe that um, talks about your salvation. And I think there's something significant there. And something significant, maybe I can draw out by asking you this. Are you saved? Like eternally, are you saved? And if you said anything close to yes, then I have a follow-up question for you. How do you know you're saved? The Bible's clear that not everybody will be saved. Some will go to heaven, some will go to hell, some will end up with Jesus, some will end up in torment. And so how do you know you are saved? There are two ways you can answer that, two very general ways you can answer that. You can, you can say, well, I know I'm saved because I believe. I know I'm saved because I go to church. I know I'm saved because I read the Bible. I know I'm saved because I have faith. I know I'm saved because fill in the blank. Uh, I keep I do a pretty good job keeping the commandments. I haven't messed up too much. Um, I know I'm saved because I do something. A lot of those statements might be true just by themselves. Like, of course, you can say you believe in Jesus if you believe in Jesus. And you can say you, you go to church if you go to church. And But do you do, do, you do them well enough to remove any doubt about your salvation. You know, if your salvation depended on how strongly you believe, how strong your faith is, if your salvation depended on how faithfully you go to church and, and how well you love people around you, including your enemies, you might do those things well. But do you do them well enough to remove all doubt? No. I don't think so. If we were paying close attention to any of our lives, my life included, if, if we could point out all the times that we did those things really, really well, we'd also be able to point out the times that we were weak or not full of faith, but full of worry or fear or doubt. We could just dig into our hearts and say, what are the biggest regrets you have in your life? And so I would encourage you not to, not to use the word I to answer that question, how do you know you're saved? Don't use I as the subject of your sentence. Do the other thing. Change the subject to Jesus. How do you know you're saved? Because Jesus forgave the whole world's sins at the cross, including mine. Because Jesus shed his blood. Because Jesus lived a perfect life as my substitute. Because Jesus told his disciples he's going to prepare a place. He's going to the cross to prepare a place for them, and then he's going to heaven. Get ready to welcome them. Did Jesus do those things? Oh, and did he rise from the dead to show his very real power over death and sin and Satan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we look at Jesus and what he did, it removes any doubt about my salvation. And that's why it's his salvation because he's the one responsible for taking all the pressure off my heart. You don't need to feel pressure when it comes to eternity. You don't need to feel pressure when it comes to forgiveness or for receiving God's love. You already have it. Not because you or I are so great or so faithful or so good at doing certain things, but because our Savior was so good at giving salvation, because our Savior was so perfect at it. Therefore, like the psalmist, 
our hearts can rejoice in your salvation, O Lord, because his salvation, it means our salvation too. Rest well tonight, my friends.